So I got asked by Morning Light to do a video on dehydrating eggs. So the first thing you're going to need is you're going to need your eggs. As you can see, I have chickens, so I get eggs every day. <clears throat> now, what you're going to do is you're going to need to put all these items together before you start. So you're going to need a like a fruit roll-up liquid mat and I got this off of Bright Kitchen off of Amazon and you're going to need to choose the right dehydrator I use dehydro okay and um, it's going to come with a couple of these little shelves it's going to come with a couple of these little shelves and uh, you're going to need to buy the right size um, fruit roll-up type liquid mat to go on top of your dehydrator shelf. You're also going to need, I use a coffee grinder, and this is a Sharpo electric coffee grinder. And what you're going to do is you're going to wash your eggs, you're going to break them, put them in a bowl, okay? So you're just going to take a bowl, just a bowl, and you're going to break the eggs into the bowl, and you're going to scramble them. What I mean by that is you're going to take either a fork or a whisk, and you're going to whisk them until the eggs, whites, and the yolks are mixed together really well. And then you're going to pour them onto this mat. Now, make sure when you do this that you're on a level ground. You got It has to be very level, okay? And um, it's going to take you about, if you do a dozen eggs, it takes about six to eight hours. And you're just going to let it dehydrate. Now, once it dehydrates... You're going to have uh, what looks like caramelized, it's going to look like they're caramelized eggs dried <coughs> on <coughs> your mat. You're going to take those and you're going to put it in your coffee grinder and you're going to grind it little by little, okay? And then you're going to come over here and I'm going to show you what you're going to end up with. You're going to end up with eggs that look like this. When it comes out of your coffee grinder and what you want to do with these as you can see I did these last weekend so we're it's almost ready to put an oxygen absorber in it but you want to keep it and shake it every day for a week and then you want to put an oxygen absorber in it seal it up like this and then right on the top raw eggs now, when you go to use this, use one or two tablespoons in a bowl. You just take a small bowl, add a couple drops of water to it to it reconstitutes, and then you can cook it up that way. If you're going to use it in a recipe, you want to use one to two tablespoons. Don't add any water. Just add it in dry straight from this because it's going to get the liquid from whatever you're making, okay? And uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, uh, I, there's several ways you can store eggs, okay? And I've done several different ways. Um, let's see if I got any in here. I don't think I got any in here. I think I used all my eggs. So you can pickle them. Um, you can leave your eggs unwashed. Okay, if you don't wash these eggs when, when you get them out from underneath your chickens, right? You don't wash them and they, they will stay good for a month on your counter. Or you can take, wash them, you know, just brush off the dirt and coat them in mineral oil you know don't use water 
you want to brush off the dirt, coat them in mineral oil, put them back in the, in the carton, and they can last, I would say, three months. Some people say up to a year. I'm not going to go more than three months. Or you can dehydrate them. You can pickle them. <clears throat> Which means that you boil the eggs and then, uh, you know, you deshell them. And make sure when you deshell them that you don't break the eggs. And then you have a pickling recipe. So let's go over here and I'll get my pickling recipe. So I can share that with you. Now there's several recipes that you can find online. You, you, <laughs> yes, I know my kitchen is a mess. Let's see if I can't find it. I want to give you a good recipe, so. That's why I'm looking for it. <clears throat> I know, I'm so disorganized. I got all kinds of recipes, I'm telling you. But you, you can find uh, <clears throat> man, I didn't think it was this far down. You can tell I've been doing a lot of canning because I, I got like recipes out the butt. Okay, so here you go. Let's go over this recipe. This is a simple recipe. Uh, now you'll find several recipes that um, have like uh, the red and they, they use beets. I don't do that. So. Let's go over this recipe. So you get 12 to 24 large eggs. You regular eggs is fine. Uh, one and a half cup of distilled white vinegar. Uh, uh, one and a half cup of water. One tablespoon of pickling spice. Four cloves of garlic. Um, you want to crush those. You wanna, you know, uh, one bay leaf. One tablespoon of salt. One small onion. Uh, you want to slice those like into rings and your cannon jars. <clears throat> so you want to boil your eggs till they're hard boiled, peel, and set aside. Okay, so you're going to take your, your eggs and you're going to wash them off real good and make, double check them because sometimes when you peel them, you'll get one or two that'll have a little nick in it. You can't use those. Okay, so you want to be real careful. Um, now, what I do when I do pickle my eggs is, I don't know if you can see it, but I have this little thing where you just break it and put it into those little cups, and you put it in the microwave, and you can microwave your eggs. It makes it a little bit easier. So, in a saucepan, you can combine your vinegar, your water, your pickling spice, your garlic cloves, bay leaf, and salt. You're going to heat that until it comes to a boil, then you're going to boil it for two minutes. In your hot, sterile canning jars, place a few rings of the onion. Notice you didn't add the onion when you cooked it. Okay. Uh, then follow this by putting as many, carefully, as many hard-boiled eggs as will fit in the jar. Now, it could be uh, a pint jar where you get two, maybe three eggs in there, or it would be a quart jar where you get five or six eggs in there. <clears throat> so you're going to take that hot brine that you in the saucepan, right? Now remember, you're going to take out the bay leaf. Nobody tells you that, but you're going to take that bay leaf out because the bay leaf, if you leave the bay leaf in there, it'll cause it to go bad. So 
you're going to cover the eggs with a hot brine. Uh, try to include one garlic clove per jar. You're going to leave a quarter inch of head space. Remember, that's right here on your jar. That's right here. It's got a little, like a little lip right there. So you want to not go above that. You want to clean your rims of your, and screw part of your jar with like a Lysol cleaning wipe or a wet washcloth. Okay? You want to make sure that's clean. <clears throat> now you're going to put in it, put them. Now here's something different. You're going to put them in the refrigerator to set up. Wait 8 to 10 days to allow the eggs to brine. Will last 1 to 2 months. It, they can be water ba bathed. So uh, what they mean by that is you put them in your water bath canner or a big pot. You put them in there. Uh, make sure when you do this that you put like the, like, um, I use my All-American canner. So I use the little thing in my All-American canner even if I'm water bathing. And uh, so you want to put that little metal ring under your canning jars. You want, the reason you want to do this is you don't want the glass of the canning jars to actually touch the metal of the pot. So you want to put something metal underneath them. Uh, you can find those. You can either use a wire rack or, or a canning jar rack that comes with your pressure canner. And you put that in the bottom of the pot. And uh, <clears throat> you, you, they can be water bathed. Now, if you water bath your eggs like that, uh, you want to follow... The normal instruction is, you know, bring bring the water to a boil before you put the jars in. So you just want the water to just, just start to boil, and then you put your jars in. Um, uh, you you want to make sure the water is above the top of your lids, and you want a water bath 30, 30 minutes to an hour. It's up to you. Um, I don't do that. I do the refrigerated um, pickled eggs. That's how I do it. But you can water bath them, and they will be shelf-stable. Now, when you take them out of the canner, same thing like I showed you last week. You want to have the mat here, and you want to put them on the mat, let them cool, then uh, wipe them down, take the rings off, because now your lids are going to be sealed, and like this, if you hear this, put it in the refrigerator. Okay? So, even though you water bathed it, um, if you put it in the refrigerator, it'll last one to two months. Okay? I don't go more than two months. Some people say that you can keep them in the refrigerator up to six months. I don't go more than one or two months. Then you're going to write on the top, you know, pickled eggs or you know, raw eggs in this case, and put it on your shelf. And that's how you do eggs. Like I said, you there is another way that you can do it, and I think I showed you this, where you take a big jar and you put your raw eggs in there, make sure they're clean. Make sure when you, you you're not going to wash them, you're going to make sure when you get them out from underneath your hens that there's no dirt on them. And uh, <clears throat> you, put them in, you put them in your jar here. And you got to be real careful that you don't crack an egg, which is what I did wrong. I cracked an egg, didn't know I had cracked an egg, and uh, they rotted on me. So you put lime in the jar and... Uh, Patera uh, from Appalachia Homesteads has a very good video on how to um, water glass your eggs. That's what this is called. It's called water glassing. Unfortunately, all it takes is one egg or this being moved just a little bit and the eggs could crack against each other and then you're out those eggs. So I don't do that anymore. I tried it once. It didn't work for me. You can follow her directions on how to do it, and um, 
if you do a water glass like this, uh, they will last um, up to a year that way. Um, I don't do it, obviously. Uh, I prefer the dehydrated eggs. The dehydrated raw eggs will last up to 25 years. Now, if you don't want to go through all this, and, and, and you just want to have the eggs on your shelf, you can actually buy powdered eggs. Um, you can buy that on Amazon. You can buy that at Food Line. You can buy them at Walmart. They're called powdered eggs. And that's basically what this is. This is powdered eggs. That It's just eggs that are raw that have been dehydrated and you know follow the directions on whatever company you buy them from so i hope that's helpful uh obviously i only have about a dozen eggs this week because it's been cold so my my hens are not laying um that's a, that's a good recipe i have used it and it is pretty good. Um, like I said, you can find a lot of these pickled egg recipes online. If you like the, the ones that include the beetroot, uh, it turns your egg kind of a purple color, which is really cool for like Thanksgiving or Christmas. You know, you have the pickled eggs and they're purple colored and it's just a novelty, you know, and it adds a, a little bit of a different taste to the eggs. And, uh, that's all I have for you this morning. I hope that's helpful to you. Uh, not much going on here. It's raining, raining, raining. And uh, we, we, got, we got a flood going on out back here. This whole back corner, all of that is all flooded. And you walk anywhere like right, right up to that fire barrel right there. And it's the ground is, is sinking under you. My whole backyard right now is like a sponge. So, yes, I need to cut the grass, but um, it's too wet. So, my chickens are out. They're having fun. Uh, I hope that's helpful to you, and I hope I, hope I answered your questions, Morning Light. If you have any other questions, please feel free to put that down in the comment section. Or if you would like a video uh, or me to go over uh, different things dealing with prepping and not just canning, uh, please put your questions in the comments and I'll try my darndest to uh, get a video up for you uh, covering that. Uh, I cover everything from foraging to mechanical repair uh, to gardening to, um, you know, any kind of uh, different types of prepping things that you can think of. So uh, I am open to questions and I am open to comments. Uh, I hope I'm helpful to y'all, and uh, with that, I'm going to go bicycle!